Alright friends, well, I'm having technical difficulties all over the place. Therefore, I'm just going to uh, do this part again. What I was trying to tell you guys is um, we go ahead, we got cut off on that first video right when I was going to show you to do that line to attach those marks to create that line so that you cut in a straight line. I don't have uh, <laughs> good lighting right now because since my phone battery is low, um, the flash won't work and um, it's not lighting up. So let's make do with what we've got. Okay, so we've drawn our lines. Okay, this, this middle line here is just to separate um, the, the squares because we're going to create eight, eight squares in each side. So therefore now we can go ahead and cut and all of this is just excess so don't worry about all this frayed area and stuff so we'll go ahead and cut that okay so I've cut one side off over here and you might be left with pieces like this but don't worry about them um, if you want to take the time out to kind of clip that off that's fine if not just leave it alone it's not going to make a difference at this point as long as you have your four by fours or four by fours, your four and a half by four and a half squares, you'll be okay. So I went ahead and trimmed that off, and now we're going to cut this. And I want to keep these together so they don't move. If you have better clips than I do, or you can pin it down, great. So uh, there we go. Cut as straight as you can. It is hard to cut through this many layers of fabric with not good scissors. <laughs> I have what I have, so I use what I have. Um, I did want to invest into the roller, roller cutters, Ugh. but during this pandemic thing, um, everything was sold out. I think they're barely starting to get all that stuff back into the stores and so maybe I'll make a trip soon so I don't struggle so much with this um, anyway so then you cut the middle this is where you're gonna create your two sets of squares which doesn't matter in the end because it's all the squares you need that matters don't cut yourself please Okay, and now you need to go back and cut through all these folded parts. Just, just go through in each one. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna lay it down just to make sure I get it straight. If you see my dog, say hello. She is wanting my attention, but. I cannot give it to her just yet. Okay, so we cut through. That's all we're doing. We have to do them individually here because these are all the individual folds where I folded the material. Just kind of pull it a little taut so that you cut, try to cut all the same size. And then you're gonna have this big fold right here to cut through. So, cut through that. And then you're going to have to go kind of go back and clip these tips because that's where the corners were folded. And you should be set for this one. And then grab your other one and you'll have to do the other the same thing for this other half. Okay, so Let's check this one out. I think this one only has that one big fold. So let's we'll cut through this one here. Just hold it so you hold all the pieces in place. And you are done. And now you have your other 16 squares. Because I already cut this. Isn't that cute? Now you have two sets, and I have some more to go. I'm going to do this orange one next. 
Okay, so the first two videos have shown you how I um, marked the fabric, how I folded the fabric, then how I marked it, how I cut it. The size is four and a half inches around. So each side, I mean each square is four and a half inches all the way around, okay? Because you're gonna sew about half an inch in leaving a four inch square um, and I have about five different patterns I think five or six I don't remember and we'll see you on the next part thanks for watching